the mainstream media treats China as this democracy of um, capitalism. That's how they refer to it. Years ago, it became politically incorrect to use the word red China. I, you don't remember that, a lot of you, uh, unless you're my age or a little bit younger. We remember red China. That's what we referred to China as red China, meaning communist China. And we aren't allowed to say communist China. We're not allowed to talk to human about human rights violations. If we were doing things that China is doing in our zoos or to seals or whales or whatever, there would be an uproar like you can't even imagine. But what they do to humans is perfectly acceptable. As a matter of fact, if I'm a a corporation, I can go over to China, I can do whatever I want, Nobody is ever going to point out that I am participating in the further the furtherance of their human rights violations. And as a matter of fact, I am even participating directly in human rights violations because I'm hiring these people at 30 cents a day. That's perfectly okay. I can do that. I just can't do it here. Because humans here are very different than humans in China, I guess. I I don't know how else to say it. PayPal can boycott Charlotte, North Carolina over a bathroom bill, but it's perfectly okay to have a headquarters in parts of Asia where they push gay people off the top of a building in the town square and they tie them to post and whip them in the town square. That's okay because that's over there. But God forbid we should forbid them to use any bathroom that they want to use. So let's boycott all of Charlotte, North Carolina. Man, I know, I know, I know, but you know, when we we look at the, I look at these things from an economic perspective and I find it so hard to believe that there are analysts every single day that I've got to read, whether it be in the Asia Wall Street Journal or I got to read it and hear about it in some European news every morning about the wonders and the beauty and the incredible economy of the communist regime. They talk about the communist regime of China as if they've never had a human rights violation. They have 46 laws on the books that are punishable by the death penalty, 46 laws. We can't even have a death penalty for a murderous, you know, uh, uh, somebody that kills children or cops. They have 46. Today, China passed a rule and a law on corporations Why this law, this new law on corporations? Now, TikTok, is that it? (laughs) The, the, uh, you know, thing everybody's talking about, this platform that Microsoft is going to buy that China doesn't want to sell because it's an amazing tool for spying. They don't want to give it up. Now they've passed a law this morning that says, well... Um, If you fall under certain regulations, which they do, you've got to get approval by the communist dictator regime before you can sell any part of your company. So Microsoft, Walmart, 
you can might as well walk away from that and forget about it. Because the odds, the only way, now you now we have to worry if China approves it, if China approves it, then we might as well just come to the understanding they're approving it based on a certain set of circumstances that certain technology and access to certain technologies is still going to be allowed by the Chinese government because that's the only way they're going to approve it. We can count on it. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from nine to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV.